One feature of special interest to operators of EFB programs is electronic charts in Garmin Pilot. In this video, we'll discuss methods of selecting charts to view. As previously mentioned in the Map Display Features video, you can select to view airport information from the radial menu. On the Small Information window, you can select the Procedures tab to see approaches listed for the airport of interest. Selecting an approach here places a semi-transparent chart as an overlay on the map display. One thing to note here is that it is best to view the map display in North Up when viewing overlaid charts to make reading the chart easier. To remove a chart from the map, select the gear icon in the upper left of the chart and then select Remove. Again, selecting to display the airport information window and now selecting the I in the top right of the window, we can go to the airport information page. Of special interest here is the full list of charts for that airport. Next to the airport diagram and all approach procedures, you can see the Show on Map selector, which, as shown previously, places a semi-transparent chart overlaid on the navigation map. When on the Airport Information page, you can also select to view the chart in a chart-only display. This is done by selecting the title of the procedure. On this display, you can see a blue outline around the plan view, which indicates the area in which you may see a symbol representing your aircraft. Anytime an airport chart or approach chart is displayed, and Garmin Pilot has valid position information, your aircraft position will show on the chart. You should note that a shortcut to the airport information page is located on the tab bar at the bottom of the display, and that selection of an airport for this display can be made by touching the IKO Airport Code button in the top left of this page. Another method of selecting charts to view is by selecting the charts icon on the tab bar. Here you'll find chart packages that are automatically loaded for you when you enter origin destination, and en route airports into the flight plan. Selecting one of these chart packages provides you with access to all published charts and supplements for that airport. To view a particular chart, simply scroll through the list with a swipe of your finger and select the desired chart. It then appears in the chart only view. In this view, the full chart is easily readable, and if desired, you can zoom in and slide the chart around using simple touch gestures. A special note here is that if an alternate airport has been designated in your flight plan, you should create a chart package for that airport as well. This can be done from the initial charts page by selecting New Binder, naming the new binder with the ICAO code for the alternate airport, selecting the binder icon, and then entering the ICAO code in the search field. When the list appears, select Add All Charts from the top of the list. Your new binder then has all charts for that airport waiting, if needed. To ensure that you have all charts necessary for the flight, once you have a flight plan entered, view the briefcase icon on the lower left of the flight plan and trip planning page. If you see a yellow triangle, select that icon to see a list of databases for your route. If you see anything in yellow, select that to see the issue. Select Download in the lower right of this window to obtain updated databases and charts. A limitation that you should be aware of is that while your aircraft position will show within a blue outline of the plan view on airport diagrams and approach charts, if valid position data is available, your position will not show on departure or arrival charts, as those charts are not geo-referenced. Okay, now that you've seen the methods used to select and view charts, it's time to move on from this video to the next one in the series, where we take you through creating and modifying flight plans.